Right now, nearly half the world's passenger jets carry a single name, Boeing. Over 10,000 of their aircraft are in active service today. When you think about the scale of global aviation, that number is staggering. More than 25,000 commercial aircraft fly for airlines worldwide, and Boeing owns nearly half that sky. From the humble 737 flying short hops to the 777 crossing oceans, the Boeing logo has become as common as the contrails above us. The backbone is the 737 family. With over 7,000 in service, it's the workhorse of low-cost carriers and flag airlines alike. Add the 777, one of the most successful long-haul wide bodies, and the 787 Dreamliner, designed for fuel efficiency across thin routes. And you've got a lineup covering everything from domestic to intercontinental demand. Why does this matter? Because when half the fleet is Boeing, airline operations, maintenance infrastructure and pilot training all orbit around Boeing's ecosystem. Simulators, spare parts and even airport gate layouts are shaped by the dominance of its jets. For airlines, fleet commonality means efficiency. For Boeing, it means power. This isn't just a snapshot, it's decades of momentum. Since the 1960s, Boeing's designs have defined how airlines plan their fleets. Airbus may rival them closely today, but statistically, odds are the next jet you board will still be a Boeing. So here's the debate. Is Boeing's dominance built on engineering strength or just decades of market inertia?